to add the blouse what i'll do now i want to make the blouse to be shapey so at this spot here that the, that the length of the blouse i'll measure up by two inches because i'm going to use that to curve the blouse two inches then i'll take my curve ruler like this i'll just give it a curve no let me use my free hand i'll just use to curve the blouse Round, you see how what I'm doing here to make it curvy. So you see the shape is now curvy, it's not that straight. Then you take your curve ruler, you curve both sides, make it curvy. So the next thing I'm going to do here at this spot, at your under your boss, you know that side is not straight, it's not sharp, so you have to make it curvy as well. when you are cutting it so the next thing we are going to do here is to take our back pattern paper this is the back here what i need for the back we just we put in your normal that what i need for the back is just my uh chest line it's chest line and my waistline and the length of the blood that's what i need for the back so let me draw it out and i'll come back and show you what i did so i've drafted what i need for the back pattern the back pattern, what you need for the back pattern, just apply your ham hole and your shoulder slope. No need to add uh, your dart for your back pattern. So you make sure you add your, your sewing allowance to it. And what you need is your chest line to connect your ham hole. And the next thing you need here is your waist as well. That's all you need for the back pattern. Then your nipple to nipple. Your nipple to nipple has to remain the same. If it's 18 shades, divide by two is four they just put in uh, four plus half an inch or so now that was making 4.5 so you do it like that 4.5 on the chest line and for the waist 4.5 for the waistline the same thing for the net of the blouse so so what you do here for the waist you're gonna take a uh, half an inch for strain allowance because that's what i did for the front pattern as well half an inch then on your chest line you come back come down by one inch it's not nice for your dad to just go up to your chest line so you just simply on your on your length of your blast before i forget make sure you put your dad's measurement as well yeah then you draw a straight line like this see how i draw a straight line then you connect it your that so when i connect it i'll come and show you what i did for your waist you start putting your round measurement my waist round measurement is uh, i'll go to my front pattern front pattern like this so i want to make sure everything is equal for my waist i have 11.5 so on my back pattern i'll put in 11.5 because it's the same uh, half an inch I took for the dart. So yeah, I'll go here, put in level 0.5. So my blouse, the length of my blouse, I'll go here like this. What I have here is uh, 13.5. So do the same thing for the back. Put in 13.5. start from here yeah i put it at 3.5 from here 3.5 then i'll go up at the end just like the same thing i did at the, at the front pattern so i'll just use my hand to connect it like so to make it have that curvy shape use my free hand then i'll take my tape measure i'll just connect it like so so it's ready. Pattern is ready. So what I will advise, I did not put my zipper allowance for the back of pattern. So if you are drafting your back pattern for your blouse, ensure you put one inch for your zipper allowance. 
then you from from after the one inch you start uh, drafting your your measurements have a look at my videos or my other videos how i draft my patterns you see what i mean there so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to cut out my front pattern this is the front the back pattern this is the back pattern I'll close it again. like i said don't forget to put your zipper allowance when you're drafting your back pattern then this is the front pattern so i'm going to cut through my darts so i'm going to cut through the darts so that will be the end of the lesson so because i don't need this that just gonna cut through it again so that is it you see how it looks like you see the cover so friends this is the end of the tutorial this is how it looks like see how it looks like see how it curves at the bottom so if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe and share the video and i'll see you in my next video one peace one love and bye for now